All right, guys, so this is the station, and we found like a Mitsubishi Miev right here. This is the Potato research car. So they guess they're trying to find out, figure out the quick charging station. So hot. It's getting hot today. So hot. So take up all your clothes. What's up everybody? Back with another video. Tony here with the Zero SR again. I'm gonna show you guys a quick charging station. This supposedly is, uh, there are 10 stations like these in Thailand. In the States, as most of my watchers are from, there are a lot of charging stations, fast charging stations for bikes like these and cars. My favorite being the Tesla car. There is this station nearby here and that station is pretty awesome. It's got solar panels, complete green design even though it's also a gas station as well but I guess they're getting ready right I mean they're they're trying Ooh, I see myself I can see myself in the back of that car don't I look pretty look at me so pretty I'm very pretty right now so many diesel cars I'm surrounded by diesel right now diesel country man diesel 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 Diesel, 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 Jesus, diesel over there, diesel, 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 everything is diesel, and the diesel over there, and it fucking stinks like crap, I hate diesel, this is the worst fuel in the world, stinkiest fuel ever, and forget about eco diesel cars, with the eco diesel engines, fuck that, they only sell in like, uh, a thousand numbers or something while the rest of the diesel crap comes here totally inefficient huge engines and burn the fuel like that with the black smoke coming in the back diesel 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 Ugh. Following a trail of diesel smoke right now. Luckily, I got the mask underneath the helmet. It protects me a little bit from this disgusting feel. And when some people say diesel is necessary, man, we need those big trucks with diesel so they can transport transport our logistics you know the food and the clothes and the raw materials you know a lot of things depend on diesel you know I say bullshit <laughs> because right now for the past two years the freaking electric trucks have been coming out the electric garbage trucks have been around for five years in, in Spain in, uh, France sorry and even in Australia, if you saw that report, there's that bus, not a diesel, an electric, that goes a thousand kilometers on a charge, fully loaded, and highway speed. I mean, come on. And I bet you, I will bet you a billion gazillion dollars, because they said they will do it anyway, <laughs> that... The, they will make electric trucks like that but to transport fuel yep Chevron said that they're all developing their electric stuff partnering up with some companies to build for them electric trucks that will transport their dirty old fuel how ironic we need more effi fuel efficient vehicles to transport oil so let's make them electric. So you're saying electric is better. No! 
keep buying fuel. But why do you want us to buy fuel if you're gonna change your transport logistics to electric? Doesn't make any sense. You're like two-faced assholes, man. <laughs> and Tesla, Tesla just has shown what a big mess it is, you know? What a giant hiccup this whole thing has become. I wanna tell y'all, when you drive an electric performance car, not a golf car or some crap like that, like a real vehicle, but that is electric powered, it's fast, whatever, or even a motorbike, and you try them out, and you just, something in your head clicks, man. If you just hear stories from people that have driven them, you, you, you've been a gearhead all your life, it won't work for you, you know? You're like, eh, hey, what the fuck are you talking about, man? I like my noise. I like maintaining my bike in my garage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure you do. <laughs> you like modifying your bike. You don't like maintaining it. How fun is it that you go to your bike? Hey, today is Saturday morning. I want to take a road trip. Grrrk, grrrk, grrrk. Damn it. Yeah, it won't start me. What do I do, me? Yep. Road trip gone down the drain. You should try an electric vehicle. And and don't just try it for like five minutes. Oh, I've been done that. It ain't that fun. No. Live with it. If you have a daily car or a daily bike, live with this type of vehicle. This type of bike and a uh, Tesla type of car or even Nissan Leaf forget the looks of the Nissan Leaf just the performance wise and live with it for a week you know try someone a friend or the sales office is very kind ask them to give you one or rent it find out and you will see, I guarantee you, man, you will see the benefit of this. And don't lie to yourself, I'm gonna make the longest trip ever without a zero planning. No, everything requires planning. I plan my life every day, which route I'm gonna take, uh, the weather, if I'm gonna take my jacket or not. All these things, man, you gotta consider everything. Oh, let me come here. Hey, electric car, who the fuck is that? Sorry, help. Alright guys, so this is the station and we found like a Mitsubishi Miev right here. This is the Potato research car. So they guess they're trying to find out, figure out the quick charging station. Yeah. These are the stations here. You can plug in a normal plug. I don't know why they put this here. Well, there's a plug right there. I, I can pointing it. So this is kind of silly. So if you're really going to charge, you do the quick charging, this one. So my bike would be like 30 minutes full. That's perfect after a 200 kilometer trip. I can buy some coffee over there, go to the bathroom, maybe eat a burger. If you smoke, maybe you have a cigarette and you're ready. Your phone will tell you if it's full. So the station is pretty cool. They've got like solar panels. Um, most of this roof is made from solar panels, it's pretty cool. And EV station right there. thing with this one is that you need the swiping card to, to activate the station. I have no idea where to get this thing. So I'm gonna have a chat with these people. Because they seem to work for this company. And I'll find out. So, I'm gonna take a short test drive with a Mitsubishi IMEF. I cannot take my camera because it's a private company car for testing purposes. So I'll see you after the test drive. 
Okay, so I just test drove this little city car. You know, if you floor it, it's okay. The torque is there. It goes about, what, 6 seconds to 80, something like that. It's more of a city car, you know. It's a small battery, small motor. But it's so simple to drive. You just turn on the key, put it in drive, go. Air conditioning works very well for this type of climate. Yeah. And then quick charging it. And it shows how many minutes over there. 15 minutes. It's at 90% now. So there's like a, a buffer that reduces the energy allowed to go in uh, when it's almost fully charged. So, But when it's very low battery and then up to 80% is like 15 minutes itself. Yeah, I asked the boys, hey, what about more electric cars here? Nope, nothing. They have no idea. They have no idea of what the government is doing or anything. Okay, bye-bye. So this is the station. And uh, yeah, they're going to open this one soon to the public. They said next week or next month. So um, you can get the card for any of you uh, Thai listeners, viewers, I mean, that own an electric vehicle and are looking for a quick charging station this is the one is going to be open soon you can get your car and charge this is way faster man <laughs>